Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to LifeWave Connect. My name is Emily Hollingshead, and I am the Vice President of North American Field Development, and I'm your host. And I'm so glad to be here with you today because I love LifeWave Connect. This is our time to come together, connect, be a part of our community globally, and learn something while we're together. And today will be awesome because we'll be focused on one of our great product lines and be able to hear directly from our CEO, inventor, and founder of this amazing technology that is our LifeWave products. So before we do that, I'd just like to welcome any of you that are brand new. Welcome, welcome to our community. Welcome to LifeWave Connect. We're so glad that you plugged into our community and we hope that you'll be joining us on all of our LifeWave Connects. We actually meet every other Wednesday for LifeWave Connect. And our first call of the month is focused on product. That's today. And our second time we meet each month for LifeWave Connect is focused on business. So we'd like to definitely dive into multiple components of our community and focus on helping you to be the most successful you can be, whether it's a product user or a product sharer or both. And so today, again, is our product focus call, and we are really excited that you are here with us. If you're looking for translation services, you can access those by clicking on the globe on the bottom of your screen if you're listening to us live. You'll be able to select the languages there. In our morning session, we provide translation services for our supported European languages. And in our evening session, we provide translation services for Spanish, Japanese, and Chinese. So if you're looking for those, that's where you can find them. We also stream our first broadcast to our Business Builder Facebook group in English Live. So for those of you that are watching live from our Business Builder group, hello and welcome. And for those of you that are looking to share uh, this training after we broadcasted today, you can find that on our YouTube channel, LifeWave Health. We typically post the recordings within a week in all of the supported languages. Although we hope to be able to share this particular recording on our channel as soon as possible so you can share all the amazing benefits of what we'll be talking today and take advantage of an awesome promotion that we have going right now that lets you take advantage of a great product when it comes to the Alavita Trio, which is what we'll be speaking about today. So we'll try to get that up as soon as we can so you can access that recording and share it with everyone because as I mentioned, our guest today, our speaker is David Schmidt. He is the founder of our company, LifeWave, and he is the one that invented the technology behind our phototherapy patches and has really been the driving force behind everything that is LifeWave and the mission and vision of what we're trying to achieve together, which is to reach a billion families and to help reverse aging and improve quality of life in all those around the world. So it's a big vision, a big mission, and you're all a big part of that. But I want to go ahead and dive right into the topic today so we can share some great insights all about the Olavita Trio. And you'll hear directly from David why this is an incredible product, what it can do for you, and what are some of the results that some people are seeing. We actually have some great testimonials that we'll be sharing today as well. Thank you to those that submitted those. And at the very end of our call, we're actually going to do a giveaway. So stay tuned to the very end. And um, maybe you'll be one of those lucky ones that earns something special. Special, uh, for being a part of these live calls. So, David, are you here with us on the call? Hey, Emily, great to see you. Hi, it's great to see you too. Thanks for joining us. Uh, my pleasure. You know, I heard it was snowing in Utah today. Is that possible? <laughs> you know, it's May and it's snowing? Well, do you see behind me? It's all white. I can see. <laughs> <laughs> all yes. right, staying warm. <laughs> I know we're not always lucky to be in, in Orlando and warmer parts of the country. That's so true. I, I won't tell you what the temperature is here, but I, I am in short sleeve shirts today. So <laughs> well, that'll give good you an for idea. you. Yeah. I'm glad you're enjoying that and getting that sunshine. That's always nice. <laughs> yeah, working on the vitamin D levels. It's all good. Well, where would you like to start today? Well, you know, I think it's always really helpful for anyone, especially that's new on the call, to really understand a little bit about the technology behind all of the patches that you've invented. And so if you can start with kind of just helping us to understand what is the phototherapy, which is the basis, and how do you use that phototherapy technology in our patches? Yeah. So phototherapy is a concept that has been around for literally thousands of years. So light has been used to support the healing of the body 
in ancient India 5,000 years ago in ancient Greece. Uh, they had a temple which was dedicated to use different colored glass uh, and filter the sunlight and then shine different colored lights on the body. And then uh, in more recent times, in the early 1900s, there was a uh, scientist from Denmark that won a Nobel Prize for his research on light therapy. And then over the past uh, 10 to 15 years, it's become a formal science with uh, more than 5,000 clinical studies being published. But very simply, uh, light therapy is all about producing natural responses in the body. And so what I mean by that is we can stimulate the skin and we can cause an increase in vitamin D, right? So we go out in the sun in Florida here or Southern California, or I see down in sunny Italy today where we have some of our members and uh, that sunlight increases vitamin D. Uh, and very important for people to protect themselves with COVID, get plenty of sunshine, elevate those vitamin D levels. Now, another thing for, I know we have a lot of men on the call and men might be interested in elevating testosterone. Well, if you walk around with your shirt off in the summertime, uh, no vanity here, and you let the uh, light of the sun hit your uh, androgen receptors in your trapezius muscles, uh, this will actually cause an increase in testosterone. And of course, we know when uh, there's an absence of light, uh, the body will produce melatonin. And so we want to sleep in a dark room. So there is a dy very dynamic uh, interaction between light and the human body. And what we've done with LifeWave is we've cracked the code about how we can use light to elevate biochemicals in the body, which normally decline with aging. So we have both anti-aging and uh, age reversal products all using light. I love that. You know, I think for some of us, it's such a neat concept uh, to understand how we can use light to make things happen in our bodies on their own, you know, and that's so exciting. And, and I love that you have cracked the code because it is so innovative. It's so different. And it's something that people can use with a lot of confidence that it's safe and effective. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we have over 80 clinical studies. Uh, we're going to be getting into clinical studies a little bit later, so uh, I won't do a share screen now. But we do on the science section of the website, we've conducted uh, more than 80 clinical studies. And uh, first, we want to make sure that any product we release is safe. And then secondly, uh, we want to make claims about what the product does. And that has to be based on uh, research where we hit statistical significance and then can say with confidence, if you use our product, uh, these are the benefits you can expect. I love that. You know, going back to what you were sharing about how the patches work specifically and, and creating that biochemical response in the body. I, I know you shared we cracked the code, or I shouldn't say we, you cracked the code on a lot of things. And, and that's why these patches are so awesome. But as we're talking about Olivita specifically, I would love for you to explain a little bit about what type of biochemical response is happening when you use that particular patch. Yeah, now I should say properly that there is uh, both a biochemical response and a bioelectrical response. Mm -hmm. And this is important because when you look at our research, you'll see that we do the uh, traditional blood and urine testing to validate what's going on in the body. But then we use a variety of bioelectrical tests. So uh, we'll do thermography or infrared imaging, and this will show how the patches can reduce inflammation. Uh, we use a technique called heart rate variability, which measures uh, muscle contraction in the heart. Uh, and we're gonna talk about two different bioelectrical tests today that we use. One is called electrointerstitial scanning, and this shows uh, within 30 days how the Olivita patch improves organ function in the body. And then I'm gonna share one with you now, and I'm getting around to answering your question, um, but this, part, this part's important. Okay. Okay, so this is a technique that we have in our uh, lab here. Uh, at LifeWave, and it's called a biopulsar. 
And the biopulsar is interesting. It's a relatively expensive piece of equipment. Uh, it's not something most people are going to have. Um, and But what it does is it will show in real time what's going on in different regions of the body. So it can show what's going on in different regions of the brain, uh, in, in the organs. And uh, what it will do is culminate that data into a visual image to show what's happening uh, with the bioelectrical field around the body. So I'm gonna show you a very simplistic view from this equipment. Um, the more complex view is to show the, um, it would look like an EEG readout where it has uh, line graphs of the readings of each organ. So it'll take uh, images and data from uh, 50 different regions in the body. And then, so it distills that data down into a visual image where we can see what's going on with the bioelectrical field in the body. So it's very easy to interpret what's going on. And usually it takes months to change the bioelectrical readings. So I'm gonna show you what happens in five minutes of using Olivita. Now, ideally what we wanna have is the color of the electrical field uh, to be this turquoise or blue, somewhere around in the middle. And when we see these gray areas, it means that the person was not making good contact with the electrodes. Um, and when we, the other thing is that the circle is going to show us, let's say, the outermost portion of the bioelectrical field in the body. And we really want to see this as expansive or as large as possible. That shows a very youthful, healthy field. So five minutes after applying the patch, this is what happens. The readings go to almost perfect. This is exactly the color that you'd want to see. Uh, if you look at the individual graphs, it would show that the uh, bioelectrical current flowing through the tissue is extremely stable. And you've also seen that the bioelectrical field has begun to expand. Um, we can say here their hand might have been making a better contact, uh, but we can also see that the field is pushing up a bit. So this is a phenomenal result for only five minutes. And by the way, you'll notice that this was a person 62. So we definitely would not expect a very rapid reaction as people get over the age of 50 and 60. So, you know, what's happening here? Now, this was a 43-year-old woman who participated in the test. Someone's got their microphone open if they could mute. Okay. Um, and this woman, I happen to know, uh, was suffering with a number of very significant health problems so hence these readings. And this is a good time to say, you know, we're not making any medical claims here. All we're looking at is the way bioelectrical energy flows through the body. And after five minutes, a very dramatic improvement. Uh, again, we see that the flow of bioelectrical energy has normalized and the field has expanded. Like for example, you can see it's only coming around here on her hand, and then in this image, it has expanded all the way over. So this is really a uh, you know phenomenal result. So that's what's going on bioelectrically. Now, biochemically, how is this possible? Well, there is uh, there was some very interesting research out of Russia uh, by a doctor named Kavinson, and he was looking for peptides that could significantly lengthen lifespan and improve immune function. And he discovered one uh, called epithalamine. And epithalamine is more colloquially known as epitalon. But epithalamine is a peptide that resides in the pineal gland of the brain. And essentially what he found is that when you elevate this peptide, you can reduce oxidative stress, and this contributes to improving lifespan and health span. And so um, normally epithalamine will decline with age. And so I invented a patch to elevate epithalamine. And uh, what we found is that if you can reduce oxidative stress, not only is it great for your health, 
but it also improves the quality of the skin. So that's a short story of how that was developed for Alavita. A lot more, but that's that's a nice overview. That's so interesting. You know, when we talk about those biochemical responses and now the bioelectrical responses, it's so interesting to see how quickly um, we, these things happen and that, and that we're able to measure uh, some of these things. And do you mind diving just a little bit more into like the, really the importance? I know you just touched on it, but why are these things important to increase in our body, the biochemical response, and then also that, that bioelectrical uh, feature that you were talking about with us? Yeah. So here's a way to think about it is that as we're aging, and so let's look at the goal, right? So the goal is we ultimately want to stay as young and healthy as long as possible. So that's the prize, right? So if we keep our eye on the prize, then how are we going to get there? So when we're looking at mechanisms of aging and the consequences, what we see is uh, that the amount of energy that's produced in the cell decreases. This affects our ability to repair damaged tissue. Uh, levels of antioxidants take a hit as well as hormones and uh, harmful chemicals in our body like oxidative stress and inflammation. Uh, they're all natural in the sense that they're there to tear down uh, damaged tissue and they're part of our immune system. But as we age, we, those, those systems get out of control and they can end up damaging healthy tissue and causing, uh, diseases like arthritis. So the idea here is that what we want to do is first increase energy production in the cell. And we want to increase the flow of energy through the body. So this improves uh, the overall function of the cell and it improves the uh, communication system in the body, right? So if you don't have energy, you don't have communication, you got a real problem. Uh, the next thing is to create a defense for the body to protect it from inflammatory and oxidative stress and manage those systems so that they do what they're supposed to, but uh, they don't stay around any longer than necessary. So the idea behind uh, not just Olivita, but our other patches as well, is we wanna improve mitochondrial function. Uh, and this way then as people get into their 50s, 60s and 70s, they can have more energy. Um, we improve bioelectrical flow. This ends up decreasing pain. We manage inflammation, of course, then less pain. Uh, and, um, we can beautify the skin in the process uh, by having less of these oxidative radicals that can damage the collagen matrix of the skin and cause uh, premature aging. So it's both for uh, practical physical benefits as, as well as uh, cosmetic benefits, improving appearance. Well, we like both of those things for sure, oh, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, that's awesome. I hope everyone heard what, what David was saying here. Um, this is really working on so many levels, not only to improve, but to protect. And I think that that's something really important that maybe not everyone really understood about Olivita. Um, you know, I've, I've heard you say before that we really are working from the inside out and the outside in, right? Maybe re I'm reversing that. But as part of our trio, we do have two of our topical products. And I don't know how much you want to like dive into all of the specifics because I know there's so much to skincare and, and the value and ingredients and all that. I'm a little bit of a skincare nerd. So I really <laughs> love hearing about that. Yeah. But I'd love if you could, from your perspective and your experience, share with us why you think um, the topicals in the system are so awesome. Yeah. So um, I had a concept for skincare, uh, but I am not a cosmetic scientist and I don't wanna pretend to be. And so um, I have a friend, his name is uh, Glenn Ryan and Glenn is a very well-known and very well-respected scientist. And he's done a number of clinical studies for us. And uh, Glenn had been a scientist at Estee Lauder. And I said, Glenn, you know, we're looking to develop a skincare system and uh, who would you recommend? He goes, oh, there's only one person you should uh, go to, and that's Peter Lentini. And so I went to Peter and I said, okay, Peter, this is the concept that I have. Uh, what do you think? And he said, well, I don't know if we can achieve 
what you want to? And I said, well, I'm pretty confident that we can. And Peter wasn't familiar with the patch technology, so I could completely understand, you know, where he was coming from. And uh, and he said, I have no idea how you want to do this, but if you want to hire me, you know, we can work on this together. And we went from there. So um, we had a couple of uh, requirements with this. And let me go ahead and back up here. We had, we had a couple of requirements with Olivita. And the first thing is we wanted it to be as natural as possible. So the idea is that, of course, our patch is non-transdermal. There's nothing in the patch going into the body. The patch stimulates the skin with light. However, there are transdermal patches. There are these patches to help you stop smoking. And then there's dieter patches and those things. And this is all based on the idea that if you put something on the skin, it can get into the body. So uh, because of the philosophy of our company, we don't wanna put anything on the skin that could potentially cause harm in the body. So that meant uh, we didn't wanna have any of the ingredients that you might normally find in a skincare product. We wanted to be have our product be as natural as possible, and we achieved a fantastic outcome with that. Um, we also wanted to be able to promote some benefits and you know, what are people looking for in a skincare system? Well, once they know that it's safe, it's natural, uh, of course they want it to be effective. And our approach with Olivita was to improve the health of the skin as well as the quality of the skin. So this meant we're gonna be improving the health of the body which improves the health of the skin. And then when you're adding our topicals, our day and night formulas, then this would uh, help promote a reduction in wrinkles and improvement in hydration. And we do have clinical studies on this. So if we look at the uh, daytime formula, we decided to base this around a microalgae that's rich in DHA. So DHA is an omega-3 fatty acid and it declines with age. Um, we also want to have a lipid soluble vitamin C. Now our product is over 98% natural. The vitamin C that is in the product is not found naturally, but it's made from natural ingredients. So you take vitamin C, you combine it with a fat, and now the vitamin C can penetrate the cell membrane and it can start turning on production of, um, of things like hyaluronic acid in the cell. And then we used a complex of different oils that would mimic the uh, oils in the skin. And so that means we use things like rice bran oil, moringa butter, macadamia seed oil, jojoba, and the advantage of this is that uh, because it's correctly formulated, the product is not greasy. So we've got a lot of oils in here as part of the delivery system, but they're not greasy. And rosemary extract is a natural preservative. It's, a, it's an antioxidant and it helps to act as a preservative for our materials. So that's the daily product and uh, does a really great job of improving hydration in the skin within minutes. Now, the nighttime formula, uh, we had a really interesting time uh, developing this. This is a thicker product, obviously, than the daytime formula. And it's also based on a microalgae. But in this particular case, we also added a milk peptide complex. So one of the problems with uh, skin and with cells in general is that not only does the collagen matrix break down over time, but the cell begins to lose the ability to stay hydrated. So this is two functions. Uh, one is decreasing collagen, which holds water. And the other is a decrease in a compound known as hyaluronic acid. Now you'll see with many skincare products that what they do 
is they'll add hyaluronic acid to their formulas. I personally think this is a mistake. Our philosophy with our products is to turn on uh, these mechanisms so the body elevates its own collagen production or elevates its own hyaluronic acid. So what was exciting about this is we could come up with a blend of different oils, put active in ingredients into them like milk peptide and naturally increase hyaluronic acid levels in the skin. And then with the lipid uh, soluble vitamin C, that's turning on collagen production. So we have a product without that doesn't have collagen, doesn't have hyaluronic acid, but it increases uh, both of those uh, in the in the skin. So I'm going to stop there for a second, Emily, because uh, I think that was the overview you were looking for. But I'll let you ask more questions. No, that's perfect. I really appreciate you going into some of those ingredients because I know that a lot of people in our community are looking for natural solutions to enhance what they're already doing with the patches. And I think these two are just so great uh, in that effort. But I think also just understanding why certain ingredients were selected and what they're for is so helpful uh, for all of us that are using these products. Because I have had people say, well, why is there no hyaluronic acid? It's, well, we're, we want that to be produced naturally, right? We don't need to add it absolutely. on top, right? Yep, absolutely. Oh, I love that. So, so I think the next thing that I would like to understand about this system is how do the topicals work in conjunction with the Alavita patch? Why is it important to use those together? Yeah, so our skin and our health is being affected by the environment that we're in, right? So we need to get sun but too much of a good thing, uh, too much sunlight is going to be damaging to the skin, for example. And, um, you know, there's more mercury in the air today uh, than there ever has been before. And, of course, mercury is a heavy metal. And when it gets into our body, it'll accumulate in our thyroid, in the liver, and uh, can cause a lot of problems. Um, it's estimated that from clinical uh, studies, that there are over a um, hundred different toxins found in the human body. And this affects a hundred percent of the population. So this was a study that was done a number of years ago with um, almost 500 people. Wow. So th this is an issue that affects all of us. Some of the new data that's coming out is really terrifying because it's showing that plastic is circulating within our bodies now. And uh, so, you know, humankind, I'm gonna say mankind, because I think this is man's fault, not women's fault. I think women are pretty innocent in this. It's been the egos of men through history that have created this problem for us. So I think we put the blame where it belongs. But um Mankind has done a terrible job of managing the environment, right? We're polluting the planet, and now it's really coming back to hurt us. And uh, it's up to this generation to come up with technology to uh, protect people's health and clean up the environment. And, of course, we're trying to do our part with that. Um, so so given, given this problem, uh, if we're just isolating this, of course, we're interested in everyone's health, but let, we're just talking about the skin today. So when we look at uh, both environmental toxins and natural systems in the body, it's going to affect our skin from the outside in and from the inside out. So the design philosophy behind this was, okay, first, what we do really well is we create these innovative patches to increase production of different peptides in the body that do some remarkable things. So let's find a peptide that will protect and improve the health of the skin and in a really unique way, uh, and in a way that is not found in a skincare system anywhere else. So there's no other skincare company in the world that's using epithalamine. Uh, there wouldn't be any point to putting it on the skin. So with our patch, we elevate this peptide. It starts to manage oxidative stress. And uh, by decreasing the stress on the skin, 
Now, when you're applying the topicals and applying compounds like the, the uh, lipid soluble vitamin C, now they can repair the skin and improve the health. So people get an immediate benefit with the patch and also with the um, ingredients that we include in the formulas for improving hydration, they get that immediate benefit. And then over time, as we can see in a clinical study uh, that we can show, two different studies, um, the, uh, there's a reduction in lines and wrinkles and improvement in overall firmness and appearance of the skin. So this philosophically, the Alameda system is important because we're doing something that no other company is doing. We're improving the health of the skin from the outside in and the inside out. Oh, I love that. And, and improving it in, in such a unique way, right? Because again, you're not absorbing anything through the patch, right? This right. is literally our bodies doing what they're designed to do by activating that particular uh, biochemical response. Am I saying it yep. right, David? <laughs> you got it. Yeah, you got it, Emily. So I've had a lot of people ask me questions over time, and I'm seeing some questions here. And before we really dive into what are some of the type of results, and we have a testimonial that I'd like to share before we really dive into that. But if you could briefly share with us a few other side benefits that people might have been experiencing by using this particular patch, because I've had people say, does this make me have super intense deep dreams? Does this help with sleep? What, what are some of those types of things that maybe you have seen or know through the research on activating? Um, well, we could really go off into la la land in this one uh, because, yeah, I would have to say um, there were some unexpected results in terms of intensity of dreams. So normally we're going to recommend the Alavita patch, uh, let's say at the temple, for example, and then some people like to put it in the middle of the forehead. This is the third eye point. And this is an interesting point um, because the nerve endings go directly into the pineal gland. So you would think that this point would be the way to create the most epithalamine or the, or the strongest response in the pineal gland. And uh, when we first released Alavita and we were getting these testimonials, many, many people told us that their dreams became like they were real, they couldn't distinguish. And then a number of people had out of body experiences uh, with the product applied at the third eye point. So uh, those are of course anecdotal. We didn't do any kind of study uh, with that, but I will share uh, since we have a minute. This, of course, is the research section of the website where people can find different studies. And um, this is a study that we did on the Alavita system. So what happens when you're using the patch with the topicals? People can go and uh, pull up the report. But what was great about this was that we were finding to statistical significance that the product was improving uh, hydration, firmness, evenness of the skin, reduce appearance of lines and wrinkles, overall appearance. So kind of every benefit that you'd want to have uh, in a skincare product, we were finding these in um, Alavita. Now, when you reduce oxidative stress and you're improving energy production in the cell and the flow of energy, People can, you know, experience pain relief, improved range of motion. They can feel better uh, and um, management of pain. And of course, there's anti-aging benefits, as we said, to this specific peptide. So this is very much more than just a simple skincare system. because It does indeed go well beyond that. I love that. I think that's one of my favorite things about all the patches is that there's definitely a specific focus and reason that you developed them, but they set, they tend to all have great secondary and even third, fourth, fifth benefits that we all can experience by using the patches and also synergistically too, correct? Oh, absolutely. You know, if we took our glutathione patch, 
Um, we did a very interesting study um, on glutathione a number of years ago. And glutathione, of course, is great for the skin. Uh, we did not initially sell that as a skincare product. And, uh, you know, we sold it for detoxification to elevate antioxidants. It's an anti-aging product. Longevity depends on your glutathione levels as well as other things. Uh, but we started getting a crazy number of skincare testimonials once we rolled out glutathione. So yeah, glut that would be to say, to your point, glutathione and Olivita are synergistic and they're also improving health as well as the quality of the skin. I love it. I do. I love all our products that way. It's so awesome. Well, I, I'd love for us to talk a little bit about the results because like you're saying, we get all these great testimonials flying in and I know you have some specific things you want to talk about with the results. But before we do that, I'd really like to uh, play a video that we had uh, submitted by one of our members, Miss Paula Shaw out of California. If you're OK with it, David, we can roll it right oh. now. Oh, absolutely. All right. Let's do it. True fact. Every morning when I wake up and look in the mirror, I say, thank you, David Schmidt, and bless you, because I use the Alavita patch every night and have done so for the last four years, and I use nothing but the day cream and the night cream, and I am five months away from my 72nd birthday, and I'm pretty darn happy about the way I look. So thank you, David Schmidt, and bless you. Oh my gosh. Can you, can you guys all see how beautiful Paula looks, how amazing her skin is? And you heard what she said. She's just using this system and she looks like she's my age. What the heck? <laughs> you know, I haven't seen Paula in a while. I, you know, I moved to Florida and she's in California and uh, we recently actually did a meeting by zoom together with uh, the NFL alumni. Uh, but she was off camera. So I didn't, so I haven't seen her in about two years or so. And uh, for 72, oh my God, uh, sign me up. She looks phenomenal. I, I, I want to look that way when I'm 72. <laughs> me too. She, yeah. looks, she looks better than me and I'm not even 40. What is going on? Okay. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, thank you, Paula, for sharing your story. I know that you're such an amazing advocate for all of the products, but wow, you are such a great representative of what these amazing patches can do. So I love that. Thank you. Um, David, again, I know that Paula is not the only one that has experienced some amazing things with using this system. Do you want to talk about some of the results that uh, members and, and our customers are seeing with these patches? Yeah, I want to take one step back because it should always be based on some evidence. And we were taught, we can come back to the, um, the skincare uh, study that we did on Olivita in a moment. Um, I want to talk about this study though first as we're talking about what kind of results can people expect. So this study was uh, performed by Dr. Sherry Blake Greenberg and also Dr. Homer Nazaran. And um, so the data was compiled at the University of Texas in El Paso at their biomedical engineering. Now, the uh, type of diagnostic that we used with this was electro-interstitial scanning. And this is a method of monitoring what's called the physiological response of different organs in the body. And we can see the efficiency with which those organs function. And again, we're not making any medical claims here. But what's phenomenal about this, and in statistics, you it depends on these p-values, and you want to see values that are, that are at least at 0 0.05 or lower to get statistical significance. And you can see here, the results showed a highly significant p-value of 0 0.001, which is uh, phenomenal. And so this is showing that the Olivita patch, because it's reducing oxidative stress, it's improving the way the organs respond in the body, the liver, the hypothalamus, the pituitary, of course, and the thyroid. Now, what's interesting is that when we were doing our initial measurements with the biopulsar, we saw a spike in the frontal lobes. And uh, while we measured it first in our own labs, it showed up again in this study. 
that the frontal lobes were being activated. So Emily, you asked a great question before, what other benefits could people expect? Well, the frontal lobes is a area of cognition and higher areas of processing. So of course, uh, many people, uh, you know, they're getting into their 50s, 60s, 70s, they're concerned about their cognition, they wanna maintain their brain function, Olivita has the very nice side benefit of improving cognition according to these results. We haven't done a formal cognition study, but it would certainly be indicative that that could be a benefit. Um, yeah, so as we go in through the data, um, that's what we found. Also, I think it'd be worth noting that on the application of the patch, uh, in this study, it was behind the neck or below the belly button. So people can apply the patch virtually anywhere. And uh, just like our X39 and expect to get a result, but that's where they were in this patch. I didn't really want to pose, you know, for the picture for the patch application, but you know, I I was a good sport about it. And I did. I'm just kidding, by the way. Uh, uh, David, you would have all the ladies knocking down your doors. So I'm glad you let somebody else be the model. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm 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 safe in the lab. I'm I'm in a hidden lab space. So it's I'm very, very happy with, with that. So um Goodness. yeah, but anyway, the, the, you can get into this in a in a little bit more detail for anybody that wants to, but Basically, what was so exciting about this is that we found we could produce a result very quickly, you know, within five minutes, this was going to have a beneficial effect on the skin. But then because we want these products to improve overall health, we were finding that uh, that's in fact what it does. 30 days of using Olivita and the responses from the organs are improving. Now, we go back and you know, keeping that in mind that this is improving overall health, not just the health of the skin. When we get to, uh, again, this is the Olivita study, um, which was done at Bioscreen, by the way. Bioscreen's a big company and uh, companies like Estee Lauder, Revlon uh, use Bioscreen. So they're very reputable uh, firm when it comes to skincare. Um, yeah, we can, what we find is, and we don't have to take the time now to go through it, but all the key things that you'd want to have in a skincare system uh, improved through the use of Olivita, the patch and the day and the night formulas. So firmness, reduction in lines and wrinkles, appearance, glow, and of course, uh, hydration improves within minutes, right? And then these were some of the scores. So we did really well with it. I'd love that. You know, um, for, for those of you that are maybe learning about the Alavita Trio for the first time and hearing all this awesome information that David's sharing, there is a specific website that you can access that has a lot of information about Alavita, and that's myalavita.com. Uh, you can access before and after testimonials, information about the ingredients. Uh, it's a really great site and resource for you, as well as in the resource section of the back office, we have a section specifically for Alavita, so you can even have some of the slides that David has shared with you here, there's a PowerPoint, a, a tracker on progress, all sorts of great tools. But most importantly, I wanted to bring up, you, you've seen here David sharing some of the results of the studies that have been done. And so you can access all of those in our science section of the website amongst all the other studies that, that David has, has provided for you to understand exactly what's happening so we can back up everything that we're saying here. So thanks for sharing those, David. I know everyone loves to hear about the science. Hi, ah, you're welcome. I, you know, I have a bit of a surprise. <sighs> Uh, if you want to say it, uh, I do. Okay. Oh my I, gosh. I think I know what it is. You don't. I don't. Okay. It's a super. No, smart. no, you and I, <laughs> you and I are become so busy these days. We don't have a chance to talk as much as we used to, uh, which is great. You know, we're, we're growing as you know. Um, yeah, no, I thought I would take a minute and share this. Uh, here we go. So, uh, there's two things with this that are really, really cool. So uh, we have a new study that we did on our X39 patch. And in the process of doing some research, uh, I found some new things that I thought our members would be uh, interested in. So I want to share them today. But it goes to show 
and this demonstrates the interaction between light and the human body. So our members you know, know that I believe in creation, that we were created, and uh, that in the beginning, God said, let there be light. So there's this very interesting history of the interaction of light with the human body. And of course, it was thought for thousands of years, this was something religious, spiritual, esoteric, but now science is finding that there is indeed a physical response when the body is stimulated with light. So this was a study uh, that I saw recently on how ultraviolet light, when it is used to stimulate the skin, will produce emission of light from the cells. So in other words, you go out in the sun and you get hit by uh, UV light, the body responds to that by emitting different wavelengths of light. And this, of course, is part of the body's communication system. Um, there's a really exciting potential for the use of this. In the future, we may be able to non-invasively diagnose human health with nothing more than stimulating the skin with light. Think of how radar sends out a signal and can detect where a plane is. Well, we could send out a pulse of light, hit the skin, and then by reading what wavelengths of light comes off, we could say, well, you're low in vitamin A, or you know, you've got the COVID virus or whatever it is. So let's give you these wavelengths of light to treat that condition. Um, this is just some more uh, data on what are called biophotons for people that are interested in looking at it. Uh, that's the name of the field. So biophotons is a name that describes the light that is found inside the body. So this is very, very low levels of light that come from inside the cell and they're emitted by the DNA to orchestrate thousands of different biochemical reactions. Um, I'm going through this quickly in the interest of time. Um, here's another study that came up. I love this. I just wanted to show this one because it's so weird. Um, in 1923, this Russian scientist discovered that low levels of light, ultraviolet light, were emitted from onions. So <laughs> plants, animals, and humans emit light. So we're all connected. Everything in the world around us, we're all connected and we all have this commonality that we're using light for communication. And then uh, this was a fantastic article. I really enjoyed reading it because it goes into quite a bit of the history of light. But one of the things uh, that I think people would find surprising uh, is that the DNA emits ultraviolet light. And I think people would find that surprising because we often think of ultraviolet light as damaging the skin and being unhealthy. But in fact, we couldn't survive without UV light and our bodies are even producing it. So the other surprise that I wanted to show you was that this was a report that we just received in uh, and we used a uh, spectrometer and uh, Fourier transform infrared uh, to do this study. We have some of this equipment in our own lab, but this specific study, uh, we decided to farm out to an independent lab. And without going through all the details, this uh, shows independently that when you place the patch on the skin, the patch shows considerable transmission and reflection of visible and near infrared light. So there's an independent piece of equipment you put the patch into, and it shows the patch stimulates the body with light. Okay, that is actually pretty amazing. Uh, I, I hope everyone understands what you just shared with us here. Like more and more evidence, more and more information that's that's sharing and, and helping us to really understand exactly what's going on with our patches and proving it, right? I mean, that's just so awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 
yeah, I don't want to get sidetracked because, you know, we can go on a rabbit <laughs> hole for the next hour. But yeah, uh, you know, we put huge amounts of money into clinical uh, work for, as part of the discovery process and also to validate uh, that our patches are safe and effective. Oh, I love that. I love that. You know, it it really is something that we can all feel secure in knowing uh, that they are safe and effective. Um, not every company has the type of research and evidence that supports that. And I just thank you, David, that you've prioritized that and continue to invest in that so we can all feel safe in, in using these patches and sharing. So thank yeah, you. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I know we're almost out of time, but I do want to ask you a few questions about placement and things like that. Um, But I have one more testimonial I would like for us to play right before we do that. Is that all right with you, David? Let's do it. Okay. Let's go ahead and hear from Elizabeth. Hi, my name is Betsy. I was signed up by Rick DeLuca about a year ago. Before I met Rick, I had terrible dark circles underneath my eyes and my skin was like blotchy and um, kind of rough and dried out. He told me about the Alavita patches and I'm so glad that I tried them. The first morning after using them, my skin felt so soft and the dark circles under my eyes totally diminished over time. And people tell me that I look about 10 years younger, so that's awesome. Um, and I just, I really love the patch and I'm super impressed by them. Uh, thank you so much for sharing that. Betsy, I didn't know your nickname. I'm so sorry about that. But thank you so much for sharing that testimonial. David, I bet you just never get tired of hearing these stories of success, do you? Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's still after 20 years. I love it. And it's the best part about what we do. It's very gratifying to know that when we're working hard to develop things and build the business and support our leaders and members, that at the end of the day, we're doing something really special in the world and we have a message of healing. And, uh, you know, also, I, we should take the time to thank our members that are on from Poland and Romania and thank them for the amazing job that they're doing to support the uh, refugees out of Ukraine. We love you guys. We support you. We're with you. And of course, you know, we're making donations of money and patches uh, to support your efforts. So thank you so much. Oh, absolutely. And we do have such incredible people that are part of our community that have huge hearts for helping. And, and I, too, just want to extend a thank you to you, David, uh, for being a safe place where we can facilitate that continuation of that generosity and through your actions and your your example. So thank you for that. It means a lot. Oh, you're welcome. And there's more coming. Uh, so when people go to the August convention in Orlando, I would say we're going to have uh, some surprises uh, they're going to come out of left field for sure. I am so looking forward to sharing these things, uh, but we're going to continue on and, and be building on with our humanitarian efforts in our community in a big, big way. So I'm looking forward to revealing that in August. Oh, I love that. I love that. I can't wait. I'm with you. I think convention is going to be so special. One of our biggest events that we've had yet. And um, I, like you said, there's a lot of special surprises and experiences for everyone. So I oh, hope- yeah. I hope we get as many people as can come. I know the world is still a bit crazy, but hopefully we can have a really great turnout. I feel pretty confident that there's a lot of people that'll be oh, there. Oh, you know, already we have more people signed up uh, than we had in attendance last year. So it's going to be bigger than the one we had in November. So it's great. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, as we look to just wrap everything up, David, I know I always like for us to cover, uh, especially for our new people, recommendations on patch placement, how long, anything to help them be more effective. And then with this particular trio, if there's anything you would want to suggest on how to use the topicals, like maybe why is the Olivita night cream bigger than the day cream? And maybe any any insights you can give in that would be awesome. Oh, well, there's a, <laughs> so there's a lot of things there. You know, I was on stage once with a medical doctor and uh, someone asked him, well, how much of the day cream should I use? And he goes, well, you put some on and then you spread it around your face. And if it's not enough, add some more. Right. So. <laughs> That was his advice. Uh, But on on the patch placement, uh, you know, what I would say is first try the um, locations that are in our instructions because they're consistent with our clinical studies and we know those locations work. Um, Because this is a patch that people will use in the evening, they can apply it, um, let's say on the side of their neck, you can simply just apply pressure when you find a place that might be a little tense, you could apply the patch there. Uh, You could also apply it on the right temple 
And if you're up for a little bit of an adventure and you want to try applying it in the center of the forehead at the third eye point, uh, I'd say be my guest and uh, enjoy the ride. Um, another point sometimes that uh, you can apply a patch to if it's too intense would be the top of the foot. So there would be, uh, you would do this on the right side of the body. And for those that are interested, this is a acupuncture point called liver three. So the way you find it, if this was the foot, it would be in the region between the big toe and the next toe over. And uh, that point is going to be a little bit, um, it will be a little bit sensitive on most people. So if you're applying the Alavita patch and it's too intense, try putting it on top of the right foot at that point. Um, in terms of the daytime and the nighttime formula, I don't have a lot to add there really uh, in terms of how much to apply. That's really an individual's preference. No, oh, I understand. I will that. say one. I will say one thing we should mention because we're getting into summertime. Yeah. At our 2015, or sorry, at our 15 year anniversary cruise that we had, uh, we gave people free bottles of the Alavita night cream because uh, one of the things I discovered quite by accident is that the Alavita night cream will almost immediately relieve a sunburn. And uh, we've gotten that anecdotal feedback uh, from many members over the years. So uh, I hope you're all going out in the sun this summer. I'd say wear X39 uh, and uh, to improve your health, uh, wear Olivita at night. But then if you do, even with that, end up getting a sunburn, put some of the Olivita night cream on there and uh, you'll find it's a phenomenal after sun product. I love that. I, I'm yeah. looking forward to trying that myself. You know, I've also heard some of our members say that they just love to use the night cream, um, maybe on areas of their skin that they need a little extra support. So, you know, if you have any crepiness on the arms or anywhere particularly, um, especially applying here to the chest area and the neck, uh, use use extra, you know, because you really can see some pretty great uh, results. I've heard a lot of, of our ladies talk to me about that. So maybe, maybe be glad there's a little bit extra larger bottle uh, for the night cream because we have more product to spread everywhere. <laughs> right. We'll keep it to that. <laughs> I think if people are creative, they can find some other uses for the night cream. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and as always, we always recommend not to exceed wearing patches for more than 12 hours, correct? Yeah. And this is a principle in phototherapy. You don't want to overstimulate the body because it'll stop responding. So, uh, apply the patch, let's say before you go to sleep, remove it when you wake up. And then in a daytime patch like X39, apply it in the morning and then take it off at night. You know, last night, uh, you know, sometimes I, I will try experimental patches. There's a patch I'm experimenting with. I couldn't sleep for anything last night, which is so unlike me. And I woke up this morning and I found a patch on my left elbow. So just make sure in your nighttime routine, you're removing all of the daytime patches off your body. Uh, and uh, same thing when you get up, <laughs> get up in the morning. So that's so funny. Uh, well, David, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. You gave us some great insights on phototherapy, on Olavita, the whole system. And, and I really appreciate the additional pieces you've shared and the new research that's come out on, on yeah light. That's awesome. It's been great. Thank you, Emily. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And for the rest of you, I know you're probably waiting for the last little bit where we do a giveaway. We will be giving away a full Olavita trio today for those that have stayed to the very end of the webinar. Let's go ahead and select our winner through our randomizer right now. Uh, let's just go ahead and run that. So let's see here and we'll announce who is our winner. Okay. Looks like we have, okay, it's it's Karen DiCarlo, Karen DiCarlo, Karen with a K. Congratulations, you're the winner of the Alavito Trio. Please send an email to sales 
at lifewave.com with your address. And we'll go ahead and get that sent out to you. Thank you all for being a part of our webinar today. We greatly appreciate that. Um, you have joined us and you're part of our community. We look forward to seeing you on our next webinar and hopefully we'll see you at our convention in Orlando in August as well, whether in person or virtually. But regardless, we're grateful that you're part of our community and we can connect with you all throughout the months leading up to convention and beyond. So have an amazing day. Thank you for being here and we'll see you all again next time. Bye-bye now.